Hey YouTube, it's PaceUK here, and today I got a brand new video for you guys over this preseason game that we had last night. The Pacers went up against the Timberwolves, and we lost 119 to 111, and that's just the gist of it. Obviously, I want to get into like the specifics of what happened, and I really wanted to touch on Goga Batadze's NBA debut. So yeah, I got a lot of things to say. Let me go ahead and get right into it. So for the Wolves, I was really just impressed with Carl Anthony Towns, Robert Covington, and Jarrett Culver. Those were the three right there. And uh, Cat, you know, obviously he had 33 points and 10 rebounds in only 26 minutes. So yeah, that was super impressive to watch. And I definitely think that he is going to be like an MVP candidate. I expect some big things from him this year. And then I think Jarrett Culver was super impressive because he's a rookie and he got 15 points in 19 minutes. And he was just attacking the rim like a lot. So I'm really impressed with him. And then Robert Covington, the man got 19 rebounds. And he is going to play a lot of power forward this season. So yeah, I definitely think that the 19 rebounds, you know, if it's not a fluke, it's definitely going to help out the team a lot. I think it's worth mentioning too that our starters actually only played the first half. While the Timberwolves starters, they play the entire game. So, um, well, not the entire game. You know what I mean, like regular rotational minutes. Um, but yeah, as far as our own starters, Sabonis was definitely the most impressive one. He had 11 points and 13 rebounds in only 16 minutes. And uh, yeah, he went to the free throw line a lot. He's so good at drawing fouls. You know, he doesn't make a lot of free throws, I'm not going to lie. He made like 67% out of the six that he took. So yeah, he only made four free throws. And uh, yeah, that was, that was all right. I wasn't super impressed with that or anything. Anyways, though, our other big man and Miles Turner, he had a pretty regular game, you know, pretty much just exactly what you would expect from Miles. And then our point guard, Malcolm Brogdon, he was doing his thing out there. He made two out of three threes and uh, he actually missed pretty much. Yeah, he, he actually did miss all his other shots, which was um, four other shots that weren't threes. So yeah, Brogdon is just an amazing shooter. Um, but he did his thing out there playmaking. You know, I'm not going to lie. He was a pretty good playmaker out there for the minutes that he played. As far as our other two starters in TJ Warren and uh, Jeremy Lamb, they did not play very well. They really just struggled to make shots. I actually saw Jeremy Lamb make two threes, but they didn't actually count. It was when the uh, ref like blew his whistle. So yeah, that kind of sucked to watch, you know. But yeah, let's, let's go ahead and uh, talk about the reserves now. So this right here is pretty much the body of the video. I have a lot of things to say. You know, I got to start out with my boy Aaron Holiday, who had nine points and four assists with no turnovers. That was pretty crazy. And uh, he was super aggressive. You know, he was just attacking the rim, also just taking shots, you know, everywhere as far as the corner threes, you know, from top of the key, he was just doing everything. And, uh, you know, they didn't really go in. I'm not going to lie. His percentages was pretty bad that game. Preseason is really just about seeing what you're playing players are willing to do and the fact that he was willing to do that was pretty good to was a pretty good sign to me. Edmund Sumner was definitely the most impressive rookie. Well, I just said rookie. What am I on, man? Edmund Sumner was definitely the most impressive player this entire preseason. And I actually got a video coming out on Saturday, which is going to be about the one player on each team that was the most impressive during the preseason. So make sure you watch that. You know, that's going to be a lit video. It's about all 30 teams, so everybody can relate to that. But yeah, uh, anyways... Edmund Sumner, what he did in this game was just in incredible to me. You know, uh, he's still our sixth man, which is very uh, cool of Nate to do. And uh, he had 11 points and four assists. Now, he did actually have four turnovers, which was kind of annoying. But that was all in 26 minutes. And he showed a lot of potential on the defensive end and also in playmaking. His, his pick and roll with Goga Batadze was insane. And uh, for Goga fans, I got a lot to say about him to just stick around i'm almost there but um yeah he also attacked cat and i'm talking about edmund here edmund attacked cat carl anthony towns one of the best bigs in the league and he got a free layup out of it um really just edmund's game is all around his crossover he'll like cross you over and then find a acrobatic or a crafty way to go into the into the rim and just get an easy layup out of it so that's really the base of his game 
he's really good at that and uh, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy to see him improve this much I was keeping up with him in the offseason and I could definitely see his work I just wanted to see it translate to the NBA game and obviously it's doing that now he also hit a three which was pretty good to see you know um, that was the main thing that people had to say about him in college that he couldn't really shoot all that much so you know he's improving little by little and I definitely think he's gonna be a big part of our team next year TJ Leaf had six points and six rebounds he was all right you know you guys already know that I'm not a big fan of TJ Leaf but um, in the 16 minutes that he did play, I was pretty impressed with him. I'm not going to lie. He was all right. Um, yeah, he, he was better than all right. I'm just, you know, uh, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of him. He's just, you know, I've seen way too many mistakes from him in his first two years to get my hopes up for this year. But anyways, though, you know, solid outing for him. I hope he can improve as well. And then after that, I also got Justin Holiday. He had a regular game. You know, he didn't really do all that much. Just shot some just you know did his job out there as a role player i think he's also the oldest player on our team and he's only like 30 or 29 so that's pretty crazy right there um anyways though we also had doug mcdermott doug mcbuckets actually he went insane he was just making shots from everywhere um it's definitely pretty clear that nate nate mcmillan is just letting him shoot from anywhere now you know uh, the offense looks a lot cleaner with him just shooting out there He's really just getting an opportunity to attempt as many threes as he wants, and uh, he's making them, so he better just keep doing it. TJ McConnell was probably the most solid player out there in my opinion. The man is just gritty, and uh, he just does his job as well. You know, he's one of those guys that you just, you pretty much think that he played his game out there every single night. Like, he never really has a bad game. Um, you know, obviously every player does, but it's just hard to see a bad game from TJ McConnell because he just, he just plays his, you know what, out there. So, yeah, I mean, I'm just impressed with him. He had 10 points and uh, I think it was three rebounds and eight assists in only 20 minutes, man. Like, come on, bro. He just went insane to me. He just went insane in my opinion and uh, I'm definitely happy to see him do that. It seems like he's also found a place in the rotation as well. So that's really cool. And then as far as Alizé Johnson, I definitely was really impressed with him as well. He got eight rebounds in 12 minutes and he also hit a three. And then finally, man, finally, we got Jakar Sampson, the greatest player to ever play the game of basketball, scored two points with a, a, I think he did a spin and then he made a hook shot. So yeah, that man, that, that, that's the GOAT. That's the GOAT right there. So this is the Goga part of the video. I'm sure this is what most of you are here for. So let me go ahead and get right into it. We have, and by the way, you see the timestamp in the bottom? That right there, all the way till the end of the video is all about Goga. That is all Goga Batadze content. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing that I noticed for him was definitely his positioning on the court. It seemed really natural and just like he knew what he was doing out there. And, you know, you'd expect that from a European player who's already been in the, in the EuroLeague and everything. But yeah, Nate seemed like he did a great job at just showing him where to be. He literally fit in just like Sabonis and Miles on the offense. So it was really it was really nice to see him do that. And then his first actual two points was a hook shot, which uh, he made. And it was pretty impressive, actually. The bench went crazy. And by the way, it seems like he's like a little brother to, you know, our entire team. You know, they just embraced him very well, like as soon as he got to Indy. So that's pretty cool and uh yeah i'm definitely looking forward to seeing a lot more of uh, goga's like dances and everything that you see on social media like he did the wool um before the game i'll have like all of that up here hopefully but um yeah as far as his actual game he had 14 points on 67 percent shooting also 67 percent from three and uh he had two dunks one reverse layup a hook shot that i already talked about and then also two triples and one of those triples was actually a double pump fake yes you heard me right he double pump faked a big man did that you know you don't really see that too often so uh yeah and the bench loved it and the bench just loved that as well they went crazy um i remember last year when aaron holiday made his first shot we also you know everybody cheered and everything but this year it just seemed more like smooth i don't know we just 
I, I have a feeling that just everybody on that team just kind of treats Goga like a little brother, you know? And uh, by the way, I think Miles Turner is Goga's vet because um, he posted this on Instagram, Miles. So uh, that kind of lets me know that he's probably Goga's vet, but um, that, that's uh, open to interpretation. Anyways, though, yeah, Goga had a very nice outing. Like I said, he also had four rebounds where uh, he got a lot of offensive rebounds where he had putbacks. And uh, he also had two assists, kind of showing his playmaking skills right there as well. I think he might have had a, a pass to. I think he might have had a pass to Aaron Holiday where he made a three in the corner. So that just shows you right there. And by the way, I I have a feeling that he's kind of like Sabonis and Miles Turner. If you had all of their like mediocre skills put together, that's kind of like Goga right now. You know, as a rookie. You're not supposed to be just as good as Miles and Sabonis. So, you know, being mediocre versions of them put together, that's really cool. And he's our backup center and he does that. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, but um, anyways, other than that, though, that was really his game right there. As far as the good things that he did, I definitely have some things to say as far as the bad things he did. And uh, he is a rookie, so I'm not really going to get too deep into it. But uh, he did have six turnovers. And he's also not very athletic, which is something he can't change, obviously. But it's definitely something that he has to work on on the defensive end because he just kind of let Carl Anthony Towns, you know, drive past him a lot. He also let other players just do that as well. So as far as like transition defense, I definitely think that Goga needs to get better at that. Um, but as far as just being set on defense, like in the paint, he definitely was really good at that. So um, that's a good thing to you know look at right there but the six turnovers though we have to fix that we cannot have that happen he also got in foul trouble a little bit he had four fouls in only 24 minutes so uh, that's another thing to watch out for that's the three things right there i would say transition defense and then um foul trouble and also turnovers he's got to limit those turnovers too so that's the three things that he's got to work on as far as just his debut but other than that he had an amazing night and i definitely expect some big things from him in his rookie year so that's the video right there i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did then make sure to leave a like that really does mean a lot you know these videos take a long time to do and uh yeah if you guys um did enjoy it though i also would like you to turn on post notifications because you know you know how youtube is sometimes and then also comment down what you think goga's averages are going to be this season all right then um i'll go ahead and see y'all boys out